Hey guys! If you are new to Infinite Painter, this video is perfect for you, as I would be talking about all the different ways you can fill color in an object using the Fill tool. Tap on Tools and select Fill. Here you can see the various fill types. Today I will be talking about each one of them, so let's go! The first one we have is Solid Fill, and it's the most commonly used one. Select any color that you want, and tap inside the object you want to fill. Now, if you're worried about these pixelated edges, then tap on settings and increase the tolerance accordingly. You can also tap on the object and slide left or right to control the tolerance. Next, we have the Linear Fill, also known as Gradient Fill. You can add new color points and tap on it to change the colors. You can also play with the position of the points to control the area of each color and the transition. This is perfect for any gradient background. Another kind of gradient fill would be the radial fill. And just like the linear fill, you can edit each color point and move the center as well. You can also tap here to reverse the colors. The third kind of gradient fill is the sweep. Here also you can move the center and play with the points. Tap here to change the number of segments, which can go up to 31. You can reverse the colors as well. The last fill type is the pattern. Tap on the object and slide towards or away from the center to zoom in or zoom out of the texture. Tap here to change the texture. You can select from the presets or add your own. Once you are done, tap here to edit the texture hue, saturation, you also have the brightness and contrast, and also the opacity. With the pattern fill, you can add the perfect canvas texture. So that's it for today. Feel free to comment down any questions that you have. I'll be making more such Infinite Painter Basics videos, so stay tuned.